adding and subtracting linear expressions. Okay, your vocabulary, what is a linear expression? It's an algebraic expression. Remember, this is letters and numbers that have no, does have the equal sign, that's an equation. The expression is without the equal sign. In which the exponent of the variable is one. So here's some examples of the linear expressions. If you notice all of these, the variable is x, it doesn't have to be x, but all the x's are to the first power. That would be a linear expression. Nonlinear expression, if you notice here, is any other expression that is represented by a variable raised to something else besides the first power. Now you may see x over here raised to the first power, but it depends on that first term, that 12x to the third here, whether or not it's a nonlinear expression or not. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is adding linear expressions. We're going to find each sum. Okay, first example, x minus 2 plus 3x plus 8. We're going to use the vertical method to solve these problems. If you want to use the horizontal method, just adding your like terms, you can do that. So we're going to align the like terms vertically and then we're going to add. Now, if you noticed here what I did with x minus 2, you need to know that if you just have an x, that means you have one x. That's all there is. There's just one x. No more, no less. So I'm going to put a 1 in front of that x just for adding purposes. So we're going to first add our constants over here to the right. We have minus 2, and if you want to change that plus a negative 2, you can. So minus 2 plus 8. Different signs we actually subtract. If you um, have questions on your integer rules, you can go back and watch the adding and subtracting integers video. So minus 2 plus 8 is going to give us plus 6. That's going to give us a positive 6. And then we have 1x plus a 3x, which would give us 4x's. And that is our answer. Okay, example number 2. We have a negative 4y plus 3 plus 11y minus 5. We're going to do the same thing, use the vertical method, align our like terms vertically and add. So I'm going to bring my negative 4y plus 3 over and then under that, making sure like terms align up, my y's are with my y's, my constants are with my constants, we'll bring down 11y minus 5. Okay, we have plus 3, we're going to start with the right, plus 3 minus 5 is going to give me a minus 2, a negative 2, you can do plus a negative 2, it's up to you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And then you have a negative 4y plus 11y, which would give me 7y. And that is our answer. Okay? Now if you check this problem out, we have 2 times a negative 7z plus 3 plus 5z minus 2. We're going to have to first use the distributor property to clean this problem up. So we have 2 times a negative 7z, which would give us a negative 14z. And then we're going to have to distribute that 2 as well to the 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. So we're going to bring that down. And now we're going to continue as we were earlier. Use the vertical method. Make sure our terms, our like terms, are lined up. And now we can add. We have plus 6, positive 6, minus 2, which gives me positive 4. We also have a negative 14z plus 5z, which would give me a negative 9z. And that is our answer. We cannot simplify anymore. Okay, now we're going to look at subtracting linear expressions. We're going to find the difference. Okay, now there's a few things here that I want to show you. First thing is, just like when we're subtracting integers, we're going to want to keep change change. But here, that last change, where we change things to the opposites, we're going to do that with both numbers that are in the parentheses. Because there is one. So you're going to have to do it to both. 
So, keep the first term, change your minus to a plus, and then you're going to change the positive 2 into a negative 2y, and then change the minus 8 to plus 8. Change it to both terms. Okay. What I did here is I switched my minus 4, 4 minus 5y to minus 5y plus 4. Now this is the same thing. All I did was flip it. This was the negative 5y because that minus goes with the 5 and this is the positive 4. The reason I did that is because I'm going to want my terms to line up whenever I bring them over vertically. And that is what I'm going to do. Now my y's are first and my constants are second. So I'm going to line them up. 4 plus 8 is 12. And then a negative 5y plus a negative 2y would give me a negative 7y. And that is our answer. Okay, try these on your own. See what you can do.